Of course, COVID-19 has forced a lot of businesses to change some of the ways that they operate and food banks, no different. News 19's Hannah Jones stopped by a local food bank to learn more about how the pandemic has impacted it. The Food Bank of North Alabama distributes more than nine and a half million meals each year, but with the recent uptick in cases, they've had to once again get creative in how they're delivering those meals to the community. From drive through mobile pantries to virtual food drives, the food bank tries to limit contact whenever possible. Something they say is helpful, but can create a void between the organization and those they are helping. There's a bit of a disconnect. You don't really get a chance to um, talk to people and to really know what they're going through and why, um, what, what other things we might be able to do to help them. And since the start of the pandemic, they've seen a steady increase in people needing food, but unfortunately a decrease in volunteers. This comes as they've had to limit the number of people in their warehouse and have also had many regulars quarantining. CEO Shirley Schofield says this is something they've continuously struggled with. For an organization that really relies on its volunteers in a lot of different ways, it's been really um, hard for us. So the food bank has found new ways to get food out to the community quickly. We have plenty of food um, for people who need it. We're just trying to really make sure we can get it out to where it needs to go. Without the volunteers to be able to sort through the food, we have to have things that are already ready to go. So we have more boxed items and things like that. Despite the increase in need, Schofield says the one silver lining, seeing how the community comes together in difficult times. I don't want to say that there are really good things that have come about from this pandemic, but that's at least one of the positives that we can kind of think about. And we're very lucky to be in a community that cares this much. And Schofield adds they are always welcoming new volunteers and food donations. In Huntsville, Hannah Jones, News 19. For anyone interested in getting involved with the food bank, you can find a link to all the information you need on whnt.com and our news app.